A well-planned kicking strategy can produce fantastic opportunities to attack a broken field. And Hewson played this one perfectly, giving Drew Wilde the stage to show his speed. Let's take a look. We start with Houston receiving a restart. And their objective is clear. Get the ball into the opposition half and ideally make the first tackle past halfway. I love how they do it. They initially make it look like a box kick setup, which typically tightens up the defence. And with Toronto taking the bait, Schmidt and Povey shift the ball open to Wild, which brings the Toronto defence forward, meaning that there's more space in the backfield and the defence have got further to run to get back. The kick from Wild is perfect. It's within the 5 metres, it hits grass, and that gives the chase plenty of time to get after it. Houston actually crossed the 10 metre line by the time the ball is fielded. The outcome of this is that Toronto have very few options, and although they have a go at Houston for three phases, they end up being forced to kick, and I use the word forced intentionally. Toronto are not set as they'd like here. They're around 25 metres from touch, when ideally they'd be 15 metres wide, which creates a wide blindside for Houston to attack, which is made even worse by the fact that they've only got three chasers, when really they need four in that kind of space. Those troubles are made even worse by a disconnected chase, with a huge space between flanker, rumble and second row carry, but I just love how quickly Wilde spots the opportunity here. As soon as he catches, he's already stepping to evade Deshaun Bowen, and then it's just about acceleration to take the space gifted by the Toronto chase. With one defender left, he does a great job of staying square, shaping the pass, and as soon as O'Leary's weight shifts, he again steps on the accelerator to score a fantastic try, a full 90 seconds after the play started. Thanks for watching.